guys, today we're going to look at some at something a little bit different. Conservation games. We're going to look at two of my favourite things. Animal conservation and gaming. We're going to look at to see if gaming can save animals. One in three people play video games. That's about two billion people. Wouldn't it be great if these gamers around the earth could learn stuff about animals while gaming? Sometime in the future, I would love to make games. Games that help take you to virtual reality that can make the world better. Across the planet, we play 3 billion hours a week uh, playing video games. It's about time um, people start creating games to save animals. But also, eco games need to have um, the something to do with the environment and animals. And even their company Ethos needs to be green. The first one is called Beyond Blue. It's got some amazing graphics. Wait until you see it. And you could go underwater and look at different animals while learning and seeing um, some really big conservationists that um, look underwater. You can see dolphins, whales, orcas, and other creatures in the sea and, and sharks. And you... Um, can, to progress in the game, you need to research them and look at them. And sometimes if you're really lucky, you get to stroke a dolphin's back or belly. There are some great interviews like Sylvia Earle. My name is Sylvia Earle. I'm a scientist, an oceanographer, an ocean explorer. I've spent years at sea aboard ships and thousands of hours under the sea. I've seen things others have not. If others could see what I've witnessed, they would know how much the ocean has changed, and they would know why caring for the ocean matters to everyone, everywhere. The ocean is Earth's life support system, generating most of the oxygen in the atmosphere, capturing much of the carbon dioxide produced by human actions. The ocean is the planet's living blue heart. Every creature has a story. Everyone, whether you're looking at a little crab, or a starfish, or a shark. If people stayed on the shore and never got underwater, how would we ever know that fish, that they have communities, they have faces? Their importance as fellow citizens, as cultures, as amazing creatures that we can learn from. There's a lot of water we now know elsewhere in the solar system and elsewhere in space. But to have a, a liquid ocean with frozen polar areas, it's taken four and a half billion years to shape the world in a way that is favorable to humankind. It's taken us about four and a half decades to significantly unravel systems. And other super famous conservationists. Let's have a look at an interview of an absolute hero of mine, Lens Peters, who saves tur turtles in Trinidad and Tobago. These animals travel thousands of kilometers, navigating open oceans that have no physical landmark. They have that inner ability to find their way. They're only sharing our beach for a short point in time, but they need protection because man has brought an ancient species to near extinction. I got involved at a time when hostilities were very real. People came with guns and machetes to poach a turtle. We would protect these animals at all costs. Because on the high tides, when the tide comes up, this area here will be flooded, right? So when the sea turtle lays her egg, the nest requires a constant temperature. And if we recognize that this nest is in a real bad spot, we choose a spot further inland on the beach that's stable. And then we would evaluate if the eggs were able to hatch because of us moving them. And in both cases, we're always right. So as the villagers began to benefit from the tourism that turtle conservation was creating, they saw that the turtle was worth more to them alive than dead. 
The children really love sea turtles. We educate them, but we involve them. And by so doing, we get them to a level of interest where they want to become actively involved. When we first started this conservation work, we would encounter at the height of the nesting season 30, 40 turtles. Now we encounter over 500. That's significant. Some people argue, well, that's nature. Leave them. Why protect them? Remember, humans have to intervene sometimes to help nature keep existing. Beyond Blue is amazing. It's made with Ocean X, who filmed Blue Panic 2. So, I'm swimming in Beyond Blue right now. So, let's go right here. It's a hardback where you need to scan two of them. So let's Looks scan like it. For a Perfect. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. That's Fun cool. Fact. In addition to being an engineering like whiz, uh, and then let's scan like this one. So. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell. More like right, yeah. This is pretty cool. I gotta be nice. And let's maybe we should head for the... Actually I don't know where to head. I think I'll go for the sperm whale. So the sperm whale may be a bit easier to get to because it's less far away than the dolphins. Okay, so it's right here. Is this a family or is it just um one sperm whale? That looks okay. Like a I think sperm it's whale. one sperm whale. I think whale. I saw this bull from the sub. Easy. They should done. Travel. Once we have a reliable ID on him, why is it got scratch on it? Nice. Looks really cool. Like that. Though. But that's what happens to sperm whales most of the time. So where am I meant to go? Just swimming around it to see if there's any texture that they've used. That's really cool. Okay, let's head for the dolphins now. So there are the bottlenose dolphins. I need to scan five of them. One done, two done, three done, and I need to find two more. What is this for? Just soldier fish, and there's dolphins. With dolphins. My grandmother always warned me Four that dolphins. although they're cute, they can also be pranksters. Oh, and there's the last one, I think. Also and very I scan noisy. those, and then right here. Done. And maybe Perfect. My now, let's follow the as dolphins first. The model is complex. You just want to find oh, the only for a little bit. Guilty. Hey Mariah, I'm seeing alerts on the South Boy if you want to pull this is them down. So cool. Okay, let's see what I'm mysteries this unlocks. Dolphins. 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 So, where are we meant to go next? Oh, so there's um, a sperm whale. And these are some really cool fish actually. A koi's parrotfish. Manta ray. A Chilean devil. It's always Chilean devil. What's this? Koi's parrotfish again. More koi's parrotfish, I think. Yeah, those are koi's parrotfish. I just want to be sure. A. A sensor alarm. A juvenile dolphins. And a sperm whale family! And one right here, sensor tag. Uh, let's go uh, to the spa. Let's just head this way. Maybe we should go to the dolphins no first because they're the closest. About. He means we use sound to transmit data, so we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. That's pretty good. Cool. Scan. Scan. Like 1990s dial-up. Scan. And, um, I think that's all of them. I think I've scanned all of them. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play oh, day. Oh, look. There's this weird coral piece. Let's pick it up, because it said A. And hey guys, can I take a oh, turn? Oh, that's cute. I touched its belly. <laughs> Maybe there are goblin sharks in this game. 
Why is there a red light? <gasps> Oh, octopus. Whoa, octopus. Oh, oh, the rumble sharks coming right out. They are acting a bit strange. Let's scan this one. Scan this one. Scan this one. And that should be it. First, let's swim with the sharks. They look pretty cool. And cute. Look at their gills. Is that a baby one? I think I found a baby one. Hopefully this Done. takes us to the pod. Okay, since I'm on free swim mode, I, I can do whatever place I, I want. So, I can do the giant squid as well. So, let's zoom scan this Atola jellyfish. Let's scan it. Ooh, right here. That looks cool. Mm -hmm. Something fishy going on here. <gasps> oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? That was scary. I know how much it was a giant squid that came in there. That was awesome. Super cool, actually. That was it, a little gameplay of Beyond Blue. In this game, I think that actually I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because it just looks really amazing. Um, you can learn info about the animals that you research which i think is really cool so that's why i'm giving it a 10 out of 10. so there's this game called alba i've actually got it on my nintendo i think alba should go on this list because it's about this girl i'm trying to save animals <gasps> alba's a really cool girl because um she sees what animals are facing like pollution dolphins wrapped up in nets poison and all that bad stuff that hurts animals and she saves them all it's made by a company called us two games as we got into the narrative experience and starting to think about like well, what could be happening to this island what you know if we look at what alba cares about the nature reserve being her like haven and having that sort of be endangered which is a story that's being told across across the planet that really started like well what is it in the gameplay that connects that narrative point to to this movement that's something she cares about and she wants to do something about like how does she make anything happen Alba's just one little person running around with her best friend and sees a problem and she's like there's there's like trash just like on the ground and animals could be injured by this there's like the nature reserve has been left in disrepair, like we need to repair this and just by her vocalising this and talking to people and, and kind of make pe making people notice it, it sort of changes other people's ideas and makes them notice what's happening. And so our, our signatures and, and gathering the petition signatures was sort of our core way of like, okay, Alba's going to do all these things that she's interested in, she's caring about and other people are going to notice and all these small things are going to build up into one big change. So, Us Two Games is really cool because every time you buy Alba, it will donate to animals to try and save them, like lemurs. And they donate money to build an Alba forest in Madagascar. And they've partnered with Ecology for that. They're restoring mangroves in Madagascar. We wanted to find a way to help our players to tackle some of these themes that they've played within Alba in the real world too. And we wanted to help inspire them to maybe make real world changes or change some of their habits to be more environmentally conscious. And we work with different partners to help us achieve some of these goals. Um, one of the companies we worked with was called Counter Sin. We became a founding partner and they're a pledge campaign where players could take one of 16 steps that will help them to reduce their carbon footprint. Another step that we took was to make sure that some of the themes that we talked about in Alba had been rigorously checked by some experts in the field. And we worked with um, some science communicators at the Natural History Museum who played early versions of the game and worked with us around some of the 
uh, different tasks and things that happen in the game that have this sort of sustainability and, and uh, wildlife conservation theme. Probably our biggest call to action and probably the biggest impact that we've been able to make in the real world um, has been through Albers Forest, which is a tree planting campaign we decided to implement. Um, for every copy of the game that is sold or downloaded, we're planting one tree through our partner Ecology. Well, this is cool. They're saving a dolphin in the net. Find people to help save the dolphin, let's say. So let's find some people. Oh, I see one. Found one. Perfect. The dolphin surrendered. Say no more. I'll see you there. One out of six. Okay, all of that is done. Now let's find more people. Let's tune it. There's one person right there and another person right there. There's a cat too. A dolphin rescue operation. I'm knife in that. Okay, now let's get the next person. Right over here. Hello, sir. On my way. Three people, there's enough water right here, great. The dolphin washed ashore, of course I'll help. And two right here. Oh, run that down. Run more. Okay, now let's go find the dolphin. So I guess we'll follow them. Okay, the dolphin's right here. When are they coming? They gotta be slow. Come! Now let's help. I hope you enjoyed my little gameplay of Alba. Alba Wildlife Adventure is really, really famous and I think I'll give it a 10 out of 10. And this company is pretty cool and they do a lot to save the planet. There's a really cool company called Internet of Elephants. And the next game is from Internet of Elephants. I think it's really cool because it creates games to save wildlife. It's quite a small company, but they really, really know their stuff. They create games that use real animal data. They work with conservationists to create games that can save wildlife. They created a game called the Wildiverse. You can meet wild apes, or as long as you have a phone, you could uh, meet wild apes in virtual reality when, and it teleports you inside a jungle in virtual reality. Well, not in real life, but you know. Wildiverse is a mobile game that's based on the real lives of apes and researchers in the Congo and Borneo. Players play the scientists and are sent on missions to explore their own neighborhoods to track these animals while supporting the organizations that work with them. So think Pokemon Go, but with Fio the orangutan and Teresa the lowland gorilla. They also have an app called Run Wild. It raises awareness, Run Wild, this app, it raises awareness but endangered species and they work with charities to save snow leopards, tigers and pangolins. Consider for example that 2.1 billion people around the world play mobile games and that number is growing. It's actually astounding to me that there aren't literally thousands of games out there for wildlife, for wildlife conservation. Our engagement efforts have to consider these audiences and the channels they use 
and engage them on their terms. I also fully believe that without effectively attracting and activating the next generation of potential difference makers, the next hundred years of wildlife conservation will continue to be an uphill battle, supported only by the will of those very few. So whether it's data visualizations, or games, or other techniques, think about how technology can play a crucial role in bringing the wildlife story to those audiences and helping us get out of our comfort zone of who we're engaging and how we're engaging them. They do so much and it's a small company and I think I might give it a 10 out of 10 again. That's it guys. This is a video I really wanted to do for a long time. If you want more info in animal uh, conservation and gaming, I'll leave it in, in the comments below. You can check Playing for the Planet. It's called playforthe-planet.org, which is a new group of companies trying to do something to save the world and to make it a better place for us and our animal friends. If I get 50 likes, um, I will do a second video on eco games. Bye!